First episode of the day, and on this one, we are talking about uh, Drozilami, the TV show. There is another Inyanga or Isangoma who has come out uh, rebuking <laughs> Drozilami. <laughs> Very interesting question. <laughs> I guess maybe there's something that happened on a recent episode or something like that. Don't know exactly what is going on, but if you do know, maybe when the Inyanga starts to reference certain things, uh, you can alert us which particular episode so that we can also be updated. <laughs> this type of discussions kind of find I kind of find very funny because um, people that do a lot of or that believe in Pan African teachings they like to make it look like they all just agree <laughs> while as it's actually the opposite it's the rich reality show we do daily christian commentary videos now for those people that are out there that believe in these things and think pan-african teachings are just straightforward they they don't disagree or anything this is a highlight of such a thing actually happening and it do doesn't only show that uh in the side of the truth when it comes to the bible uh, there is what we believe versus what they believe. And then even on their side, there are still people in that side who might be doing some very dodgy mandam things. So this is what the Sangoma was saying. This video, if you want to see it in its full totality, you can find it on Mosama Tebula's uh, Facebook page. That's where I saw it. And this is what the Inyanga is actually rebuking her for. You are showing us, you are showing us wonders now. You are showing us flames. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think, uh, I think that's, uh, is that the, the moon? I think, I think you can correct me down in the comment section to say, how do these two things actually meet? Or is she saying man? Is he saying man? Um, is he saying man? I, I'm not sure, but you can, you can alert, you can alert, you can alert me, but I think that's, uh, that's, uh, the moon. What, how does the, the moon and thingy actually meet. I don't know what reference that is to. So you are a prophet, you are a listener, and uh, basically it's good as how she functions, like how the, the gift functions. So when the person manifests, it's not clear to them who their kids are. I thought that was very interesting, that part there. Uh, and if it really is the desist of that house, they would know their kids. They would know. But as we have stated before, these are familiar spirits. Okay, when you when these spirits manifest through you, they don't seem to know who their kids are. They must be first introduced. <laughs> The person didn't know uh, uh, what what is happening in the family. They don't know who their kids are. They don't know what is happening in the house. Information born, right? Yeah, you are misleading the nation. You are scamming people. And then, but mm. why? That's a big one there to say that she's scamming. <laughs> to say what she's portraying is a lie. Mm. That's not me, yo. Oh. So again, he's criticizing how um, he's criticizing how the function, the functioning aspect of what she says it's a gift to say that. While uh, Tembi supposedly speaking or doing mediation for this thing, sometimes all these characters come all at the same time. <laughs> I 
<laughs> very interesting question because very recently Joslami had a, 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 a family that was vendor the lady the, this lady with her mother wearing all white and whatnot and they were trying to resolve something yeah you know you know the, uh, what these episodes are so what he's asking is very crucial if you were doing mediation and the person you are supposedly saying you are speaking for why is it that they don't speak their own language why is it that you they only speak zulu and Sutu? it's because those are the languages that you know but if you were really speaking for that person and really um, taken over by that person, you would be able to. Mm-hmm. So if they were speaking that language, then we would know that really they are there. Because already you've been told who in this family has died, who in this family has done what, so you just go there. Basically saying she's pretending. Mm-hmm. You are misleading people. So. <laughs> you, are the best. you are the next Bushiri. You are becoming worse. That's what he says. <laughs> so, it's challenging to say Moja Love must set up an interview between him and uh, Tim so that he can, he can, she can be questioned by people in her face. So you see. <laughs> Viva. <laughs> Let them do it there so that we can see who's doing what, who's doing what. Like, the thing, this is what I really wanted to portray here is that Sometimes people within these Pan-African beliefs and, you know, all Africans, we believe all the same thing. They don't show this side that what they believe is not all the same. So when people come, they mustn't become too desperate. Now when they see cameras, so they, they, they become scared. They don't want to argue with what is being said because of the cameras. Even if what is being said is not true. So uh, he think that doing this uh, work of Sangoma stuff for over 10 years, so he knows very well that what she's doing ain't true. I won't, be, I won't be tricked by you. <laughs> so, uh, when Tebi is there, if she sees a bed, it's that person coming. If she sees uh, anything that comes in, <laughs> it's that person. <laughs> Leading the people always have to tell me, always have to get him worse. This is getting out of hands. We have to- now, that's the thing with familiar spirits, isn't it? Uh, I'm not uh, verifying him, but I'm just showing that. Um, it just shows this idea of familiar spirits. They come to divide. All they will tell you, yeah, this person is bewitching you. Hey, there was something that happened with this other person. Hey, this person. So it makes, it brings up fights. It, it stirs up people and people don't want to associate anymore. And so that's uh, the, the, the focus she is bringing there. To stop it, we have to interview you. <laughs> stop playing with people who must interview you. Yeah, please. Thomas. <laughs> and so I guess the video was posted on the tick of the talk and so it's not all just plain these people even what they believe can be tricked even what they say can still be twisted and they see one thing they can interpret it one way and also some of these people they can go learn these things from other people and then they are the ones who have the better contacts in order for them to be seen up in front it would be very interesting if she was to respond now i don't think she would you know, because that then would would be a to and fro kind of a debate type of a thing. Her setup, it's almost like 
um, they're trying to run this the longest as they can. But here you can see questions starting to arise from people from her side there uh, in the medium world, in the spirit world. And they are saying, you know, what she's saying doesn't meet up 